All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Roger, and I'm with a company called Mock Software Design. And over the past several years, we've been trying to like innovate along several fronts and try to identify which technology is going to be big in the future, including iCloud, specifically iCloud continuity and iCloud handoff, and also augmented reality. And there's a third one, which is 4K Ultra HD or um, you know 4K digital cinema and stuff like that. So what we what we do have is we have a you know a fireplace 4K app and we have a weather 4K app. We have a relaxation relaxation 4K app, and we also have a uh, abstract 4K app. So now we've been working on um, and this is for both Mac, iOS, iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV. And the first one, the next one we're making is called an aquarium 4K app, and it's right here in the dock. And um, so this is we're releasing this for Mac in about a week or here too, in a week or two here. And then we'll release it for iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV in about a month or so, or something like that. So with that, let's go ahead and open it. And um, most there are aquarium apps, of course, for like the Mac and iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV and crap like that. But most of them are like 720p HD, or and even relatively fewer of them, like far fewer of them actually, are 1080p HD. So 1080p HD, which you know most of them are are not, which would be about that. 720p would be about that area right there. So um, with that, we can uh, go ahead and go to uh, wallpaper preferences. And I'll just go ahead and bring this up here. You can kind of see we got like over 20 of them you can choose from. So let's kind of bring this up here. So we have the uh, Great Barrier Reef, which is like, you know, really beautiful, nice range of colors and uh, looks really realistic and everything like that. Then we have the uh, Sunken Ship one, which kind of looks like a, you know, crashed pirate ship or something like that. And then we have the uh, Coral Reef one, which is, you know, just phenomenal quality. I'm running this on like a 3K display, but I've, you know, got 4K display to just, you know, compress faster and stuff like that. But, you know, the full quality is really beautiful, which, you know, I'm not going to be able to upload to YouTube, so that's unfortunate, but you get the idea. Then we have the uh, sea animals, which you just saw. Then we have the uh, Mardi Clownfish. Kind of just chilling. Then we have the uh, Dory, you know, blue tangfish. Swimming around in circles, forgetting what she does every two seconds. And then we have the uh, some kind of herring called the European Sprats. And uh, this one, I'm sure, is going to give people motion sickness, which is fine. So I may just put like a little motion sickness warning on this one because it does happen. People email me about that or, you know, left reviews of, like they're getting motion sickness, which is pretty crazy. Because, you know, on the 4K display, it looks so real. And it's, yeah. And then we have a uh, cool, like, little solo jellyfish here. Kind of chilling. Then I have no idea what kind of fish this is, so I just called it a single gray fish. Single gray fish. There we go. Okay, and then we have the uh, alligators and a bunch of catfish chilling around here. Then we have, uh, you know, Thailand. I don't know if this is actually Thailand, but, you know, I'm just going to say it's from Thailand because it sounds cool. So I didn't know what else to call it. Then we have a uh, spotted horse fish, and the quality is, like, so good. You can actually see the, the individual eye on the seahorse, like, the seahorse master, like, moving around and crap like that. <clears throat> then we have some, like, kind of, like, mushroom... Christmas flavored cauliflower bottom, like uh, they're really beautiful though. Jellyfish or something like that. That looks really nice. And I have no idea what kind of fish this is, so I just call it a striped fish. I have no idea what fish these are either, so I just called them aquatic tang. It's made of something up. And I do know what this fish this is. This is the lined fish, which uh, looks pretty weird. Then we have a bunch of piranhas. <clears throat> and then we have a bunch of lion seahorses. This one's cool. We also have stingrays in here. So you can see what that looks like. And then, we, of course, we have the mighty elephant nose fish, which their noses, you know, look like really long nipples or penises or something like that. But, you know, that's just how my mind works, I guess. And of course, you know, in addition to uh, all these videos, I've also got a touch bar here. And I'll just go to the, uh, oh man, it's recording, so I can't show the touch bar, my bad. Okay, I'm sorry about that. But besides that, we also have uh, all these desklets or widgets you can add. We have all, like time, clock, dates, you know, winds, panels, all kinds of crazy stuff you can add to, you know, to your desktop. The date right there. 
make that bigger, put this over here, maybe put the time over here. Wait, I'll I'll put a clock around here. There we go. Make that bigger. And I'll close it and okay, there's obviously a bug there, but uh, you get the idea. And one thing, a really cool thing I added was we still have like each display is individually customizable, but you also have um, start as uh, wallpaper. So you can run it as wallpaper, which is the, de the default, or you can start as a screensaver. And you can see how it just took up the entire screen. And I've got uh, two other displays you can't see, and the um, it, those have took up uh, different videos on each display as well. So you can customize each display with the wallpaper, but once you put it on screensaver mode, it's going to take up each it's going to take over each one of your displays and just hit the space bar or you know mouse click to get out of that and you're good and see there are widgets there all right so i'll just go ahead and uh, start this wallpaper here and so you can see how that works but you know there's obviously a few bugs that still need to get worked out here because you can see the widgets just disappeared they're behind it obviously so um that's about it you get the idea of the, this new kind of 4k aquarium app which is you know coming out for mac in about a week or two and then coming out for ios and tvos in about two weeks, three, four weeks, or something like that. All right, so thank you for watching, and thank you for your time. Thank you.